Any questions from the ladies? Preferably a non-Muslim? Yes. Uh, may you state your name and profession before Dr. Zakir? My name is Salha. I'm a singer. Just wondering about the difference in uh, Islam and Christianity about uh, death and resurrection of Jesus. Peace be upon him. This is the question. What is the difference in Islam and Christianity regarding the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Peace be upon him. As I did mention a little bit in my speech, that in Islam, the Quran mentions in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 158, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, raised Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, alive. So we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not die, he was raised up alive. The same thing if you read in the Bible. I've given a talk and had a debate that was Christ really crucified. And we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not crucified. Even from the Bible, I can prove that, but that requires time. So what we believe, that even the Bible does not mention that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, died on the cross. But there's a difference in the reading of the common Christians. They said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was crucified. For that, you can see my debate, was Christ really crucified? As far as the second coming is concerned, we Muslims believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will come again on the face of the earth, which is also believed by the Christians. We believe he's going to come again. The reason we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has been raised up alive is because he is the only messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, whose followers as a whole mistook that he claimed divinity. He's the only messenger. So because his followers as a whole, they had a misunderstanding that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. That's the reason Almighty God has raised him up alive. And in his second coming, it's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse 116. He will say, and he will tell Almighty God, you be my witness. I never told them to worship me, but I said, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who's my Lord and your Lord. And similarly, it's mentioned, if you read the gospel, it's mentioned in the gospel, in his second coming, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, many people will say, Oh Lord, did we not do wonders and miracles in your name? So Jesus Christ will say, E men of iniquity, E sinful people, you depart from here, I don't even know you. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in his second coming, he will come to testify that he never claimed divinity, but he was the messenger of Almighty God. Hope that answers the question. How do you think a Muslim should react to dating before marriage? And uh, whether in Hadith there is any punishment to sodomites, lesbianism, uh, any mention like that? 